In this video, I'm gonna show you how to insert a single slicer for multiple tables. For example, here we have three different tables and we want to insert a single slicer for these three tables. First table we have sales, then we have cost and in third table we have profit for these different months. How we can insert a single slicer for these three different tables? For that, first of all, we need to click anywhere on any table. Let's say I will click on this table. I will go to the insert tab. In insert tab, I will go to the filters section. In filters section, I will click on slicer to insert slicer for this table. When I will click on slicer, you will see we have here insert slicer window. In this insert slicer window, we have different fields. Here we need to select the field for which we want to insert slicer. We need to see here that in these three tables, what thing we have common. We have here common months because here we have sales, here we have cost, here we have profit, but all these figures are for these different months, right? So I will click on sales month. I will go for OK and you can see here we have slicer for this table. Let's say I want to see sales of month of June. I will simply click on June and you can see in this table we have sales of june right let's say i want to see sales of april may june i will click here to see multiple values i will click on april may and june and you can see here we have sales for month of april may and june now this slicer is linked to this table right it is not linked to these two tables how we can link before we link this slicer to these two remaining tables Let's arrange this slicer a little bit. Let's say I want to change number of rows and columns for this slicer. Here we have 12 months. What I will do, I will simply go to the slicer tab and here I will insert number of columns. Let's say I want to change number of columns into 6 or maybe 4 for example. So I will insert here 6. I will insert, I will press enter and here you can see here we have 6 columns and 2 rows because in total we have 12 months, right? So six months in first row and six months in second row. Now we need to link this slicer with these two tables also. How we can link? We simply need to right click on slicer. We will go to the report connections and you will see in this report connections window, this first pivot table is checked. That's mean these remaining two pivot tables are not checked. So these two pivot tables are not linked to this slicer. So I will simply check these two remaining pivot tables. I will go for OK. And now I will check if these two tables are also linked with this slicer or not. What I will do, let's say I will click anywhere. And you can see when we click anywhere on slicer, we have effect on all these three tables. Let's say we want to see sales, cost and profit for month of November. I will simply click on November. And you can see we have here November sales, November cost and November profit. Let's say we want to see sales of third quarter of this year. What I will do, I will just click here to select multiple fields. I will click on the third quarter that is July, August and September. I will just remove the November. So here we have sales, cost and profit for third quarter that is July, August and September. So friends, in this way, you can simply connect or you can simply create one slicer for multiple tables in Microsoft Excel. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to give thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, Microsoft Office Tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye-bye.